So today we're going to talk about why a woman chooses you over another man. Now, have you ever heard or has this ever happened to you where a woman ended a relationship with you and chose the very next man she met? Well, if this has ever happened to you, then let's explore what might actually be happening in this relationship from an emo from a human behavior perspective, a human behavior perspective. Guys, if you're brand new to my YouTube channel, I want to invite you to read two amazing books, actually three. Um, First book is called Attached by Amir Levine and Rachel Heller. And then the next book is called Getting the Love You Want by Harvell Hendricks and Helen Hunt. The, the third book is called Wired for Love by Dr. Stan Tacton, okay? And by the way, all the books I recommend are listed below. Okay, why do I want you to read these books? Because I want you to understand something known as love attachment style and something known as the Imago. And the Imago is spelled I-M-A-G-O. In the books Attached and in the book Wired for Love, it talks about how we attach to another human being that is actually predicated on what happened in our early childhood imprinting with one or both of our parents. So oftentimes, if you've ever seen a woman who typically chooses the bad boy type, that destructive type of behavior, that player type of behavior, oftentimes they are recreating something that happened in their childhood and they're doing this at an unconscious level. So why they might you know, so why they might choose another man over you is you weren't actually triggering that childhood wound that happened at a very early age. And the Imago is along the same lines where we're trying, we human beings actually choose partners similar to one or both of our parents in that we didn't have a need met in our childhood and we're yearning for mommy or daddy's approval. And we oftentimes choose people that won't give us that approval, that won't give us that emotional safety. And that's some of the reasons why women choose, might choose a, diff, a man over you if a relationship ends. So now we're going to dive into what's it going to take for her to choose you? Now, I know many of you have been indo indoctrinated into that the women needs to be in the feminine and the mass men needs to be in the masculine. And it's all about what a great body type you have as a man and how much resources you have. If you follow the red pill narrative, if you follow the manosphere narrative, they are feeding you with a lot of information that on some bio biological level is true. To some degree, from a cave person perspective, women will want to choose the strongest, fittest man that has the best cave from that perspective. But the reality is, is we are much more than just our biology. We are much more than our cave person. A moment ago, I just shared with you how our childhood imprinting can actually affect how we choose a person. And in a moment, I'm going to share with you what an emotionally healthy, emotionally grown up woman looks for in a man that goes beyond the hypergamy, that goes beyond the base instincts that human beings operate from. So one of the things, and, and I, one thing I've noticed with a lot of men, men who are emotionally wounded will often chase a woman. And I'm here to say, men, while I recognize that we all have a desire to want to have connection, we want to have companionship, we want that physical intimacy. And because of that strong desire for those things, we have to sit with ourselves and ask, do I genuinely want commitment from a person that I'm engaging with on a romantic level? So I invite you all to ask yourself, do you want commitment? Do you want to be fully committed with someone? Do you want partnership? Do you want to build a life with someone? Really sit with that. I know some men watching this will call me a simp because I just put my hand over my heart. And yet our heart for every human being, even those radical uh, red pill guys or manosphere guys, I'm going to trust you. Most of those guys are so deeply wounded. And I'm not laughing. I'm only laughing at the popularity of how 
how deeply wounded people can affect so many other people singing a narrative that goes beyond what we all genuinely desire. We want to feel loved. That's what I mean. Uh, by the way, the number one emotional health wound for both men and women alike is I'm not good enough. I'm not lovable and I'm not likable. And some of those people that are touting themselves in the red pill and manosphere environment are actually some of the most deeply wounded people. And they're singing a, a very narrow narrative of what actually human pair bonding is all about. So I'm going to share with you seven ways that a woman will choose you over another man. Okay. Now, number one, your the other men are less effort. I mean, if you are, if you do have a problematic life, if you do have emotional wounding that puts you in a state of inferiority, if it puts you in a state of shame, if it puts you in a constant, let me reframe that, in a constant state of inferiority, a constant state of shame, a constant state of insecurities, Naturally, she's going to want to put, effort, she's going to want the man that she has less effort with from an emotional well being perspective. Okay. I think that's rather obvious, but I invite you all to do introspective work. Guys, if you're brand new to my channel, I've written a book called What the Heck is Self Love Anyway? It's a journey of personal development, self help, and spiritual work. I invite you to do the inner work. So you become a man who's actually fully and integrated into your sovereignty. Because when you're operating from that sovereign place, not from the egoic, you know, best physical shape and the most amount of money, okay? Those are certainly, those are things to aspire for, sure. But is it coming from an egoic place, a place of lack or a place of love? Number two, let's be real. I'm... Um, a woman will choose you over another man if there's sexual compatibility. I'm going to share with you guys. Many of you are addicted to pornography. You are more apt to feel sexual pleasure through your your you know that gorilla grip you have. And many of you have not allowed yourself to actually feel the full presence of another woman or learn how to actually be a good lover. I'm going to share with you guys, when you actually learn some of the skills to become a good lover, that woman is going to want to choose you over another man versus many men who are just simply pumping and dumping. And I'm sorry for the vulgarity of that, but that's the reality for a lot of men out there. So I invite you to learn to take a break from physical pleasure or in, like individual pleasure and actually curate some skills associated with being a good lover. Number three, you she actually has an emotional connection with you. And I mean men who are capable of being vulnerable, of being authentic, of being transparent, men who can share from, a, from an empowered, confident place their feelings are actually incredibly desirable. Now, I know right now some guy's watching me. This guy's a simp which is kind of a wimpy guy, I'm going to tell you, men, if you are actually one that seeks a heart-centered relationship with a woman. When you can actually connect with your heart, you become a magnetic attractor for women who seek to want to bond with you. Number four, she's going to choose you because there's a higher level of compatibility between the two of you. Look at a lot of people are are engaging in short-lived experiences who aren't very compatible with one another. Do your, It's rather important to be on the same page, to be on the same page in your life with another human being. I mean, some people don't subscribe to this, but I think people whose ideologies are similar to one another, whether it's politics or religion, are more compatible with one another. Um, their lifestyles are blendable with one another. A woman's going to choose you over another man. Oh, and by the way, let me be clear. When I said earlier about attachment styles and Imago and that imprinting and stuff, we have a lot of got late men. There are a lot of wounded women out there that choose the wrong men and they don't see the value of compatibility. I'm talking about that emotionally grown up woman who recognizes the importance of lifestyle blendability. 
And within that lifestyle, blendability is shared values with one another. When you share the same values with someone, when you share the same vision, you are much more compatible with that person. Number five, um, you and her are in a good place in your life. You're in a good place in your life. When you're in a good place in your life, you be you are more desirable. Many people are train wrecks right now on an emotional level or in their physical world. And when someone is a train wreck, it makes it difficult to choose you over another person. So this is true for both men and women alike is do they have their act together? Do Are they a good place in their life? Because she'll choose you if you're in a good place in your life. And certainly that might that means being able to financially take care of you, yourself. And in addition, you are in good physical condition as we talked about before. Number six, timing. You know, I, I do believe in the level of timing is a reflection of individual readiness. When you are ready for a significant relationship and she is ready for a significant relationship and when two people come together in the areas I've just discussed in those other five areas, that timing actually puts you in a space where she'll choose you over another man. And I'm going to tell you, timing is really about readiness, about that commitment to commitment. And I want all of you men out there to really start to embrace the idea of commitment to commitment. Because when you are committed to wanting to have a life partner, you're going to be more selective on the woman you choose. And let me tell you, men, there are a lot of messed up women out there, just like there's a lot of messed up men. I encourage you all to do a, a deeper dive into determining if they're right for you. If you need some help with that right there, schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. And number seven, when a man has true self-respect, when he loves himself, by the way, I wrote the book, self-love isn't about, self-love is about self-worth, self-confidence, self-respect self-discipline, when you actually come from a healthy place of self, both as a giver and a receiver, not a taker, like a lot of men in the manosphere, these are all men who are takers. When you genuinely have self-respect, you, you love yourself, but you also love humanity at the same space. And when you can love others to the same extent you love yourself, you become a magnetic attractor for that woman who will see you versus the other men out there who are going to probably break their heart. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? Please let me know if it is. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. As always, if you find value in my content, hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos. And if you want to connect with me directly in the show notes, Schedule a call with me. See if working with a coach is right for you. Join my group, Midlife Love Mastery. Follow me on YouTube. Um, follow me on Instagram. Get all the books I recommend in the book in the list below. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video and I'm going to invite you all to absolutely get clear on the idea that you want commitment with another human being because that's actually going to lead you on a path of a lot more love in your life. Okay, guys, good luck. Keep me posted on how it goes. All right. Have a fab day.